Well, first of all, Simon, thank you so much. And I want to thank Simon also. He's appeared a few times before our Energy Commission uh, Committee of Hearings and has done a wonderful job. I'm going to set the stage for how we got to where we are today. Maybe it gives you a little bit of perception of why I'm maybe at odds at times with uh, the administration on how they're trying to implement what's going on. First of all, there would not have been an IRA bill if it hadn't been for the Ukraine war. Uh, when I saw that basically uh, Vladimir Putin had uh, used uh, fuel as a weaponization, he weaponized fuel against our allies in, in Europe, and I was concerned about that because there's an old saying, remember the song, looking for love in all the wrong places? People are going to be looking for energy in all the wrong places, and I was afraid of that. So that's what got me to the table, and I started talking. Well, after we got rid of the BBB bill, and it was just such a far-reaching bill, and it, would, it was just so massively expensive, and we, I don't even know what the top figure would have been, but I can guarantee it had been north of $6 trillion. And I think it would have thrown us in a tremendous uh, downturn of our economy in a recession and probably a depression. It could have been worldwide arranging. So anyway, we got through that, and that was about eight months of agony, back and forth, back and forth. And I didn't want to go through that again. So March of the, um, of, uh, uh, the following year, March, I, uh, I finally said, uh, uh, you got bigger problems than me not agreeing on some of your, uh, some of your legislation is extensive. And I said, we have an energy problem here. We're not producing what we could and what we should in America, and we need to get back on track. And we can basically produce the energy we need for today to run our country and be a leading producer in the world. And we can also invest historical amounts and basically take a little bit of the risk from the private sector, which is innovators and creators and, and, and uh, people that you all have done all your life willing to take risk. But the bottom line is when government should always be your partner. I've said anything. I'm not your provider. But by God, I can be the best partner you've ever had. And we're in this together. So that's what I took that approach to it. And I start talking to people, and they start talking. And then, then the, uh, uh, and I look back, and I saw that Elon Musk, what he did uh, back after the downturn of the financial crisis in 2008, 2009, and we tried to stimulate the uh, uh, automobile industry, and they put the incentives in there for, for uh, electric EVs. He was the only one that took advantage of all the big automakers, missed it completely. But he jumped right in there because there was no caps. You could sell to the richest people. You can make the most expensive car, and it's still credit, got all the credits, 7,500. And uh, they put caps on, you know, a million cars once he hit that figure. But he rode that one and did it better than anybody else as far as I could evaluate. So anyway, this comes along, and they start coming to me, and they said, Joe, we've got to do this, we've got to do that, and we've got to have this, 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 this. And I said, listen, uh, guys, i got to be honest with you. Uh, we in the United States of America have never depended on foreign supply chains, especially from countries that are unreliable. Foreign supply chains for our mode of transportation, whether it's cars, trains, planes, and everything in between. We've never done that in America. Now all of a sudden you're throwing in to where we're going to be totally dependent. And when you look at the, the, the numbers, uh, you know, uh, in all areas of the supply chain, from mining, processing, component, manufacturing, we hold a significant, significant minority of the global market share, only according to 1 to 14 percent. Meanwhile, China controls anywhere from 60 to 100 percent of the global processing, depending on the mineral, and just thinking about the transportation sector. China is responsible for 85 percent of battery cell production. They're responsible for 90 percent of global cathode material production and 97 percent of anode material production. Now, I had a hard time. I come from a little coal mining town in West Virginia, maybe 500 people. Pretty down-to-earth, hard-working, I mean, God-loving, God-fearing, hard-working people. But, you know, you've got to have a little common sense to survive. And you better be able to speak with common sense. And I've always said, if I can't go back and explain it, I can't vote for it or support it. And that's what really happened to the BBB. And I was the one vote to kill the bill. I didn't do it trying to harm Democrats or help Republicans. I did it because I thought it would harm our country. And then we did the IRA because we thought it would help our country. But I told him, I says, I'm not big on all these giveaways. I said, you know, usually the market, you give them an opportunity and you have a production in a supply chain that's, that's reliable and responsible, and you can make things happen. I said, but we've let things leave this country for far too long. It's time to bring it back, and we have a golden opportunity. I first went through the iteration of saying, you know, I remember reading my history books, and Henry Ford basically the mass production and brought car prices to the point where most Americans could afford it. That started that our transportation uh, love affair, if you will. 
And I said, and then I don't remember, I haven't read anywhere where the federal government was paying and, and uh, building uh, gas stations. It's the market, it's a free enterprise system. It's who we are as Americans. And now all of a sudden you're asking, they were asking for $80 billion in the BBB for putting uh, charging stations. I says, I don't think they're gonna give electricity away free. Someone's gonna make money off it. I said, these are entrepreneurs. Trust me, if we have the market demand, it'll happen. Went through all of that with them. And then they start talking. I says, I'm, I'm not big on federal tax dollars incentivizing us to buy something, okay? We're basically stoking the market, if you will. And I said, usually the car manufacturers and all of our manufacturers in America, they're going to produce a product. They're going to make a better mousetrap than someone else, a better product than someone else. And they'll have incentives. They always have had incentives. They get oversupplied or something doesn't sell as well or something's new. They give you an incentive and a reason. Come on, try this. You'll like it. But nope, we had to be involved. So it finally came down after about three months back and forth. And I mean, they were going at me hard. And I just said, listen. If this is where you want to go and you're building your whole business model on reimbursements of $7,500 of federal tax dollars, that's a sad scenario for American producers. But if that's where you are, here's how we're going to do it. $3,750 if we have a reliable supply chain as far as critical minerals. $3,750. That's where the first half came from. And that means basically sourcing from North America and countries that we have free trade agreements. So we'd have reliable supply chains. We have four countries we're very concerned about what we do, and we call them countries of concern, which are China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. They're never going to have our best interests. They're never going to be able to make sure that they're just in a world supply train and no interruptions. They're going to use it for an advantage. Putin showed us what he would do, and I guarantee you Xi Jinping will do the same. And I wasn't going to get caught in that. So that's how we put that in. That was for production, okay? I mean, that was for sourcing and production of the critical minerals. And then as far as the manufacturing, of the anodes and cathodes and building the batteries had to be in North America. That was the other 3750.